so I taught a class in psychology at, at Village Free School for a year. So when I you know realized that I was going to teach that, I was like, okay, what 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 do I need to you know put together for this? And and the central there there one of the central lessons that all of psychology is about is that situations are far more powerful than we than we intuitively think they are. Is we think we have you know a stable personality and that personality is is consistent across situations and that the personality is ex is, the, is the only thing that determines my behavior and it's like no <laughs> you you the situation determines your behavior you have an influence it's not that personality doesn't matter personality does matter but situations are far more powerful than we can than than any intuition we're ever going to get until we've trained ourselves to recognize situational factors and to realize that like you say, the context of a Sudbury school and what I call agentic schools more broadly is one where there's a fundamentally different context. And so everyone shows up differently in that context. And it's a context that is about being open, having the system being open to being changed by the people in it. And that's one of the things that is most powerful about it. And that's why I focus on agency. That's as, the power as, of community. Practice. Exactly. And there is community when there's freedom. There's not community when there's dictatorship and autocracy. And, you know, it's <laughs> so and, 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 kids and get that even teachers. more than adults sometimes. <laughs> yeah, exactly. That's mm -hmm. what it says is even, you know, skillful teachers are trying oftentimes to to provide a version of that from within the system they're in. And so they're trying to create a protected little environment where they can, you know, share some, some power, but, but then they run up against roadblocks and, and, you know, and pressures to do, to accomplish certain things or to cover certain material or, you know, and so that's where the system then impinges even on a well-meaning teacher's classroom is that, that they're still in a context in which they have limitations on how much freedom they can give, how much empowerment they can actually accomplish. I tried to do it for 15 years in high school classrooms <laughs> to create community yeah, in the yeah. classroom. I let kids, you know, bring complaints about me and we'd mediate in the classroom. Yeah. However, it, it was, and I also refused any nominations ever for teacher of the year. I don't like the hierarchy. Mm. Why single out one person when we have a whole community of people who are doing wonderful things? You know, that's all part right. of that system that's not mm -hmm. good. But what I was going to say is that I came to realize that by doing that, I was mm. enabling a very dysfunctional system and I could not stay any longer. This is the Agentic Schools Vodcast, where you will learn about schools from around the world where children's agency to make decisions about their learning and living is more important than their academic skills. What makes education possible is the satisfaction of psychological needs, so that is what these schools have in common with all others. What makes a school agentic is satisfying those needs particularly well. I'm your host. Don Burr.